This tells us the story of three different students struggling to cope in their academics, all from different backgrounds driven by the perception of graduating. How much meaning does it bring to them to graduate? Could it be to simply use that degree to get a decent paying job? Does the school hold any value to them? Alif's driven by his tough struggles through life. He's either tutoring his little sister in the evening, helping his mom at the hawker stalls at night, or studying his bum off to get into a good school. Better education, better job, better income. Selfless, always thinking about how his mother can afford to pay her own medical bills, not at the rate that their business is going. The fate of his dearest ones lies in this eldest son's hands. Contrary to Alif, Jessie lives in full comfort as her monthly 2k allowance comes in. How does she ever learn without ever struggling? Any problem faced is solved within the snap of a finger, backed by her parents' wealth. Well, now she has one problem she has to deal with on her own. An MBA over professional gymnastics. Disgusted. But her dad's not giving her much of a choice either. A career in sports in Malaysia? Hmm. Consider being underappreciated once you've passed the active ages of a national athletic life. Yikes. Jordan, on the other hand, after years of internships, odd jobs, and working experience, only then decides it's time to blend in the undergraduate life that he missed out on. Many people don't see it, but the guy has been saving up so as to not be in debt. What's the point of academic success if you're stuck in debt of paying thousands of student loans afterwards? One con though, all his friends are probably married already. FOMO haunts him sometimes. A CGP of 2.0? I'm pretty sure it's possible. Hmm, is it like hard? Hey, <sighs> not like I wanted this course anyway. The undergraduate life. Another lifetime of despair. Oh, I still haven't resigned from that job. At least I won't be in scholarly debt like the rest of these children. Because of taking our own pace in life. Fun. Feeling left behind from the rest of my friends. Crap. I really need to give my all. I can't waste this one chance. With better education comes a better job, comes a better pay. I can finally upgrade Ibu's business and make life easier for my family. Yo, watch where you're. Wait a minute, you're from the same bus. Dear God. Hey, yeah, though. Are you from the same KK as well? What are the odds, huh? I, I gotta get going. See y'all never. Jeez, what's up with this guy? Oh, whoa. Yo, we gotta stop meeting like this. Oh my god, I just realized we're from the same faculty. You know what? I'm actually headed to the library. Do you guys wanna join? Sure, why not? Ah, uh, I can't take this anymore. It's already 3 in the morning. What the hell am I doing up at 3am in the morning? Y'all, I think university isn't for me. What's the point of going through all this? I wanted to be a hot gymnast, not some boring old business lady. Man, I hate my dad. Yo, actually, I'm having a depressive episode too. But the pain won't last forever, Jesse. Maybe your dad knows best? How would he know what I want? He's lived longer than we have. Oh, uh, why are you up anyway? Just thinking about how I'm 25 and only starting my undergraduate degree and how are all specks of dust compared to the whole universe and how nothing really matters. Oh, hi guys. I was actually up studying though. Oh. Hi, Olive. You were what now? Studying. I really can't help it. I feel so left behind in class and I really need to do well for the sake of my family, you know? Damn. I wish I had motivation as solid as yours, Olive. Yeah, what the hell? This suddenly makes me feel grateful about my family. Hey, but in all honesty, we're all just struggling as much. We'll definitely find some light at the end of the tunnel. For real, we got this. You guys, yesterday's chat was really meaningful. I finally feel like I have my own support group. Didn't help the insomnia though. Mm. Me too. I 
I couldn't help but go. So I feel like immensely grateful. Not a bit, a little bit grounded. I'm such though. a spoiled brat. Hmm. You know what? How about we study together? Like those nerds do. You know? Nerds? Huh. Little did they know. Never really thought about it, but I think that's a great idea. I think I'll be a great scholar with both of you. Hmm. What are we waiting for? Despite their different backgrounds, they took it as an advantage to learn more about each other, to ground each other, having one another's backs during academic breakdowns throughout the course of completing their respective degrees. One year of friendship and shared hardship turns into two, two into three, and by the time they know it, with the assistance they've given each other, they're capable of graduating. We have to support one another in order to succeed. To each their own is not always the case and that every dilemma faced is bound to be over with time. The time that's moving ever so quickly. Kita jaga kita, am I right? Yo, watch where you're. Hey, this is like the first time we met. Yeah. Quite funny, huh? Yeah, we got it. Sure. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>